BrainWise presents Grade 3, Science Quiz B, Part 1 Hey Science Explorers! Get ready to put on your thinking caps! We're diving into the amazing world of science with 20 awesome questions! Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go! Number 1 What is the process called when leaves make food? Again what is the process called when leaves make food? The choices are A. Germination B. Pollination C. Photosynthesis D. Respiration The correct answer is C. Photosynthesis Number 2 what is the beginning of a new plant called? Again. What is the beginning of a new plant called? The choices are A. Fruit B. Flower C. Seed D. Stem The correct answer is C. Seed Number 3. What is an example of a seed that is spread by wind? Again. What is an example of a seed that is spread by wind? The choices are A. Apple seed B. Dandelion seed C. Coconut seed D. Bean seed The correct answer is B. Dandelion seed Number 4 Which of these is a type of herb? Again Which of these is a type of herb? The choices are A. Palm tree B. Mint plant C. Cactus D. Water lily The correct answer is B. Mint plant Number 5. What is a habitat? Again. What is a habitat? The choices are A. A type of seed B. The natural home of a plant or animal C. A type of flower D. A type of soil The correct answer is B. The natural home of a plant or animal. Number 6. What is nectar? Again. What is nectar? The choices are A. A type of seed B. A sweet liquid made by flowers C. A type of root D. A type of leaf The correct answer is B. A sweet liquid made by flowers. Wow! You're doing great! You've already zoomed through some tricky questions. Time for a little brain boost. Shake it out, take a deep breath, and let's keep the science adventure going! Number 7. How do some plants grow without seeds? Again. How do some plants grow without seeds? The choices are A. By using flowers B. By using spores or cuttings C. By using fruits D. By using roots only The correct answer is B. By using spores or cuttings Number 8. Which of these helps to spread seeds? Again. Which of these helps to spread seeds? The choices are A. Weed B. Water C. Animals D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. 
Number 9. What is a seedling? Again, what is a seedling? The choices are A. A mature plant with flowers B. A young plant grown from a seed C. A plant with only roots D. A plant that can't make food The correct answer is B. A young plant grown from a seed. Number 10. Which of these is an example of a plant adaptation to a dry environment? Again, which of these is an example of a plant adaptation to a dry environment? The choices are A. Large, thin leaves B. Thick, fleshy stems for storing water C. Brightly colored flowers D. Long, thin roots The correct answer is B. Thick, fleshy stems for storing water. Number 11. What do fruits usually contain? Again, what do fruits usually contain? The choices are A. Roots B. Seeds C. Leaves D. Stems The correct answer is B. Seeds. Number 12. What is the main job of the roots of a plant? Again, what is the main job of the roots of a plant? The choices are A. To make food B. To hold the plant in the ground and take in water C. To make flowers D. To spread seeds The correct answer is B. To hold the plant in the ground and take in water. Number 13. What is a cutting? Again, what is a cutting? The choices are A. A type of seed B. A piece of a plant used to grow a new plant C. A type of flower D. A type of fruit The correct answer is B. A piece of a plant used to grow a new plant. Number 14. What are pollinators? Again, what are pollinators? The choices are A. Animals that eat plants B. Animals that help move pollen from flower to flower C. Animals that live in the soil D. Animals that spread seeds The correct answer is B. Animals that help move pollen from flower to flower. We're heading into the final stretch. You're halfway to becoming a science whiz. Remember, even if a question seems tough, just think like a scientist. You've got this. Number 15. Which of these plants grows from a bulb? Again, which of these plants grows from a bulb? The choices are A. Rose B. Tulip C. Sunflower D. Tomato The correct answer is B. Tulip Number 16. What happens to the extra food made by plants? Again, what happens to the extra food made by plants? The choices are A. It is thrown away B. It is stored in different parts of the plant C. It is used to make flowers D. It is used to make seeds only The correct answer is B. It is stored in different parts of the plant Number 17. What is an adaptation? Again, what is an adaptation? 
The choices are A. A type of seed B. A special feature that helps a plant live in its environment C. A type of flower D. A type of soil The correct answer is B. A special feature that helps a plant live in its environment. 18. What is the pistil of a flower? Again, what is the pistil of a flower? The choices are A. The male part of the flower B. The female part of the flower C. The colorful petals D. The stem of the flower The correct answer is B. The female part of the flower. Number 19. What is a deciduous tree? Again, what is a deciduous tree? The choices are A. A tree that has needles B. A tree that loses its leaves in a certain season C. A tree that grows in water D. A tree that grows in the desert The correct answer is B. A tree that loses its leaves in a certain season. Number 20. What is the first root to come out of a seed called? Again. What is the first root to come out of a seed called? The choices are A. Stem B. Sprout C. Radical D. Leaf The correct answer is C. Radical. You did it! You completed the science quiz! Give yourself a big round of applause! Did you learn something new today? Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep being curious! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! See you next time for more science fun! How did you go? What was your score? Let us know in the comments below. Check out other videos from BrainWise.